If you have type 2 diabetes or prediabetes or even insulin resistance trying to lose weight, you may have heard the claims that honey may be better for you than the other sweeteners. Are these claims true or are they false? Or are they partially true? Let's talk about that right now. Hi guys, I'm Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist who specializes in hormones and diabetes management. I practice in Florida, but try to help everybody with this YouTube channel all around the world. Well, honey may have some health benefits, and to be honest, it tastes and smells great if it's a good honey, like the Maninqua honey. It is still a source of simple sugar and carbohydrates, so it can spike your blood sugar. Here's the big question. Are benefits really worth using honey instead of regular sugar? So what are the benefits of honey that you're looking, trying to get, or why are you trying to avoid? Is it better to stick to a sweetener or use that a little bit of a honey instead of a table sugar? That's the decision that you need to make, and I'm sure you'll be able to make that decision at the end of this video. Yes, if you have diabetes, you need to be careful about your carbohydrates, as most of you already know. But some of you still have that sweet tooth that you cannot get rid of. My patients will tell me, Doc, I'm using honey instead of sugar, so I'm good, right? I'm like, um, uh, uh, well, I don't know, not so sure. <laughs> Here's what you need to know before you decide how you should handle honey in your diet. At the end of this video, I'll give you an important tip, so stick around for this short video until the end, please. A tablespoon of honey has 64 calories and 17 grams of glucose, which is carbohydrates, pretty much, simple sugars. It is high in fructose and also glucose. The honey has a, a glycemic index of 58 and a sugar, the table sugar, has a glycemic index of 60. So it's really not a big difference there in terms of how fast it can really spike your blood sugar. Most of the time, actually, we recommend patients to eat honey if blood sugar is too low due to insulin or acetylenylurea agents such as like the glipizide, the glimopride, or glyburide, etc. But here's a big but, but with one T, okay? Sorry, my accent sometimes get in the way. Because uh, honey is sweeter than the granulated sugar, to be exact, one and a half times sweeter than the table sugar, you will need less sugar in the honey than you would need with table sugar in your coffee, for example. On the other hand, sweetener can be a hundred to thousand times sweeter than the sugar, depending on the sweetener. So honey is not as sweet as you think compared to artificial sweeteners. But hey, it's natural, right? That makes a difference. I recommend though stevia leaf extract for those who want the more natural sweeteners, instead of like Splenda, for example. So the research shows that the honey has anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. So yes, that is important for people with diabetes because they typically have higher levels of oxidative damage and inflammation in their body. But remember, many foods we talk about in this diabetes channel also deliver a lot of antioxidants without driving up your blood sugar sky high. So you definitely don't need honey to get those nutrients. You have a lot of other options that would be just better for you. Now, if you cannot live without the honey and you're just so in love with it, with that taste and the smell, I'll give you this. If all you want is to sweeten your coffee in the morning with a tablespoon, which is around 17 grams of carbs, and that will make you happy, go for it. Provided that you do not also eat a piece of toast and a jelly and a banana and an orange juice at your breakfast. Well, believe it or not, a lot of people do that. You have to balance it out and make sure you do not exceed your carbohydrate goals. Some people will blame me for, by the way, allowing moderate amount of carbs, but hey, I like to work with people instead of behaving like a dictatorial prohibitionist style kind of a doctor. I'm not that. I believe people can learn and apply that knowledge in their daily life and still have a balanced life without having to deal with diabetes complications. Also, not everybody is the same, so 
if your body can tolerate honey because you're a new diabetic, you, you have more insulin making capacity, or you're exercising a lot now, or you're on the medications or supplements that will control your blood sugar, even if you need a little bit of extra carb, and then you have more flexibility for sure. Now to conclude, and I'm gonna give you the final tip, but it's coming, and before that, there's not likely to be a benefit of a swapping sugar for honey if you have diabetes, since they affect your blood sugar in a similar way. Just wanna make sure that that's clear. If you do choose to eat honey, make sure you know how much you are getting. Also remember, the foods that have honey in their name, or the sauce or whatever, they contain more honey, but they, they may contain more carbohydrate than you realize. So just because they have honey doesn't make them any better. Uh, that can neg negatively affect your blood sugar or even skyrocket it. And if you are on insulin, etc., the same insulin that you're taking, it may not work just because you're eating something that has honey that you may not account for. Well, here's the final tip, guys. The health benefits of honey totally also depend on its processing, as well as the quality of the flowers the bees collect the pollen from. So the raw honey is the honey that has not been heated pasteurized or clarified or filtered in any way and this form is typically retained they retain more of a health promoting benefits the antioxidants etc we talked about that can be lost to the standard processing methods so if the honey looks too good to you on the shelf and they look this purified nice beautiful golden color don't buy it the raw honey is the best honey the minimal processed honey is the best honey if you're going to have honey that's the way to do it all right, guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Remember to share, subscribe, and like. See you later.